Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro. So we just looked at what EC2 is. So let's look at more of the broader services for computing. And these are the more uh, common ones that you'll come across. There's definitely more than just what we're gonna see on this single slide here. So we'll break this down with virtual machines, containers, and then serverless. Or for virtual machines, remember that's an emulation of a physical computer using software. And EC2 is the main one. Uh, but for our VM category, we have Amazon LightSail. This is a managed virtual server service. It is the friendly version of EC2 virtual machines. So when you need to launch a Linux or Windows Server, but you don't have much AWS knowledge, you could launch a WordPress here and uh, you could hook up your domain and stuff like that. Um, so this is a, a very good option for beginners. We have containers, so virtualizing an operating system or OS to run multiple workloads on a single OS instance. So containers are generally used in microservice architecture when you divide your application into smaller applications that talk to each other. So here we would have ECS, Elastic Container Service. This is a container orchestration service that supports Docker containers, launches a cluster of servers on EC2 instances with Docker installed. So when you need Docker as a service, or you need to run containers. We have Elastic Container Registry, ECR. This is a repository of container images. So in order to launch a container, you need an image. An image just means a saved copy. A repository just means a storage that has version control. We have ECS Fargate or just Fargate now. People are kind of forgetting that it's, it runs on ECS these days. So that's why I have it in there. It is a serverless orchestration container service. It is the same as ECS, ex except you pay on demand per running container. So with ECS, you have to keep a EC2 server running, even if you have no containers running. So it manages the underlying server, so you don't have to scale or upgrade the EC2 server. So there's the advantage over ECS, okay? Then we have Elastic Kubernetes Service, EKS. This is a fully managed Kubernetes service. Kubernetes, or, uh, so Kubernetes, uh, commonly abbreviated to K8, is an open source orchestration software that was created by Google and is generally uh, the standard for managing microservices. So when you need to run Kubernetes as a service, then we have serverless categories. So when the underlying servers are managed by AWS, you don't worry or configure servers. So AWS Lambda is a serverless function service. You can run code without provisioning or managing servers. You upload small pieces of code, choose much, uh, how much memory, how, how long you want the function to run, is allowed to run before timing out, and you are charged based on the runtime of the serverless function rounded to the nearest 100 milliseconds. So there you go.